नमस्ते सलाम वेलकम टू बातों बातों में विद सपना व्यास गेट रेडी टू मीट द म्यूजिकल डायनेमो रागव सचर He is an amazing performer, not just on live stages, but look at his social media. He is doing so good, engaging his fans, and truly, he is a multi-talented personality. So let's meet him. Hi, Raghav. Welcome to Bato Bato Me with Sapna Vyas. Thank you so much, Sapna. What a and pleasure. I'm really, really happy. because i have always admired your music <laughs> and you're such a talented person thank that you. it's genuinely a joy to have you on the show my pleasure thank you so the first question i have to ask you that you know garba is round the corner <laughs> and uh, i know you would be loving to perform live so what it's like for you to perform live not just for garba but for a live audience what what does it feel for you so uh, you know live audiences are the it's instant gratifications for an artist all you need is usually when you release an album you release it uh, you know you people hear it there is a bit of a delay in reaction but when you're performing live you you're just playing a note and you can see the audience react instant instantaneously when i shift instruments and the the way audiences go when i'm holding the saxophone even going close to the saxophone they start shouting saxophone 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 so stuff like that just really peps you up and uh, it's the most uh, it's the most giving feeling i feel for me as an artist i am the most uh, comfortable and happiest on stage so one place or one stage appearance mm. performance that is really you know it's in your heart even today what would it be any any fond memory yeah yeah um, so all the college events largely are fab because the you know the energy of the kids is very very high but one of them was the mood i that i had done for iit bombay and that was that was just next level so i always will remember that so what's your take on remake culture of music today remake culture you know it's become like a part and parcel of our lives now um there are so many songs that are getting created and so many amazing songs that have been created in the past that recreations remakes are uh, something that that just keeps coming and it it's like a wave wave so it, uh, it like you remember the kanta laga time and it had come it had taken over mm. then it kind of died out uh, original music came back up and then again uh, of late you are seeing so many films now that there's still still a little better because there is original content and remake content but early in the middle there was only remixes happening hmm. so every film would have um remixes that are not even that old the songs not being like more than about 2 3 years old also were getting remade and remixed which i feel is a little uh, stretchy because hmm. you know if you're creating a song of 1940s 1950s even 70s 80s even early 2000s hmm. it makes sense because the sound has changed considerably but something that has just happened a couple of years ago and then doing a remake of that feels like there is lack of original content and original content is the way to go there is no replacing that so if you ever had to recreate a song any uh, dream song that you have in mind i have done so many recreations already i have such uh, uh, you know old songs i'm a huge fan of old numbers hmm. but uh, my recreations are largely if i'm able to add something different to the original composition you know either uh, create something of my own and then go into the composition or uh, if it's an instrumental uh, like the way i would address the composition in a different genre altogether i would not want to stick to what has already been done right. so there are multiple and um, you know there's digital music production has taken over the organic music right produced and recorded with uh, so many live instruments so what are your thoughts about digital music especially Are you, do you mean by AI music or? Ah, uh, yeah, AI, uh, because I think it is taking over nowadays in so many ways. So, see, digitalization happened long back. Hmm. So, music largely is now produced digitally only. It's very uh, rare that you would go into analog setups. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, however, the usage of live instrumentation has decreased considerably. probably you mean that with the question that the live instrumentation has gone down and a lot of the samples are being used a lot of um pre-existing sounds you know and synthetically have been largely instead of playing a mandolin you would play a mandolin on the keyboard rather than having a mandolin player but there is no replacement i play so many instruments 
let me tell you as a composer also there is just no alternative to live what an artist can bring to the table uh, you will not be able to replicate that on a keyboard uh, no matter how talented the keyboardist is just to get that same tone the same frequencies the the vibe largely you will not be able to rep- replicate that so live uh, according to me is paramount you need to have live of course ai is a totally different ball game now altogether uh, it is creating compositions for you it is you can sound like any other singer hmm. so all of that is now going to explode i feel this is this ai generation is i don't know what it's going to do but i hope it doesn't take away the entire creativity yeah the creativity and the charm yeah uh, you have just an appearance uh, you have just and appeared on various television reality shows so how does the experience of being a judge different from being a performer um performer see a performer is being judged all the time so sure. that is what is happening and i love performing because i i want the audience or people to judge me at that time otherwise you know being uh, present on stage with all eyes on you it is it is a different high altogether it's a different feel altogether i have loved that that attention that you are getting for that moment imagine if there are 45000 people 50000 people who are looking at you alone hmm. the attention that you are getting at that time is enormous and at that time you have the control to either uh and you have a limited time to impress them and if you're able to do that then they are yours forever so uh it is a totally different uh, uh you know area to be in when you are sitting as a judge you are kind of being judgmental about what is being performed what is being done how the set how is it looking how's the lighting and since i am so deeply involved in uh, direction as well as editing as well as or so many different fields of music then you you become a very uh, hard critic also ki ye theek se nahi hua wo theek se nahi hua ye aisa karna chahiye tha but then the whole idea is if the performer is able to charm you and bring you and captivate you besides all of the other things that's it so you have already done so many successful <laughs> live performances and you are acing at it <laughs> So do you still get those uh, initial day goosebumps you know when you go on the stage there are little nerves and after a great successful performance you are still trying to call the people you love and say i did great today so do you still get that thing no yeah now it's a lot of things are autopiloted because you've done so many yes. you know events so i would not say that it's the same as it used to be earlier of course the bigger the platform the nervousness is higher but nervousness is a is a must if you're not nervous that means you're overconfident and overconfidence is never good nervousness is always good uh, and a little nerves are always present for me whether it's the smallest to show whether it's the biggest of performance uh the it varies definitely but once i'm on stage it's i'm home it feels like i am home i love how you put it So what's um uh, can you share your views on challenges faced by independent musicians in Indian music industry today It's a challenging industry I'm facing it as well I mean it's not that um, even after being in the industry for so long independent music will always uh, I'm not sure will or will not but as of now for the last 20 years that I've been in the industry I find it to be a very difficult field to be in you know because bollywood has a lot of power it has star power it has the money so what you are able to put out as an artist it's limited because the sources are limited the resources are limited um if you really want to come out with a bang you really need to invest a lot of money and for an independent artist he could probably might might be able to do it once or twice but you have to keep at it right you have to keep releasing content um it's a difficult industry to be in but the advantage now is that um, there are so many platforms available that organic growth is what largely is required and mm-hmm. if you are able to crack that code of how many people can you engage with your song that is the that's the whole idea now and a lot of data analysis is required in today's day and age what you would make as an uh, as an artist what i would make mm-hmm. would be for the love of music right what i feel i want to present but it is not necessary that it is what you want to hear 
True. So I want to present something that I'm happy presenting and what you want to hear. That bridging that gap, it's a very difficult thing to do. So Raghav, we were talking about uh, social media, which makes me ask you this, that what sort of role has social media played for you? Because for some it's a curse, for some it's a blessing. What it is for you? Definitely a blessing. And um, it's again, one of the easiest ways to understand what your audience or generally people are liking. It's a difficult uh, task to get around it, definitely. Because it's not that, not that I've been not on social media, I've been on social media for the longest time now. You know, earlier days of Facebook, then it went on to Twitter, Instagram, we've been there. But to kind of engage audience, it's not been easy. I have been doing exactly what I'm doing right now. I have been doing the same thing. And we are, sometimes we laugh about it in the studio also that, you know, how we have just been doing the same thing over and over again. And it was not appreciated at all. It was not heard. It was not shared. Why? Uh, and now why is it happening? So there are, of course, there's an algorithm that keeps changing. They keep improving on it. So what is working today might not work tomorrow. What has not worked yesterday might work today. So all of that is these ifs and buts are there. But I personally feel that you need to kind of find a niche, something that has clicked. And when we found it, it was earlier this year in January when actually I found what they like and what they are interested in listening to. And once we got that, the hang of it, then I kept repeating this. And then I kept introducing other instruments to it. So a lot of people thought that I only play instruments. They didn't know that I play so many instruments. And as and when I kept, you know, adding different instruments and different styles and uh, in songs that they have already heard, they started appreciating it much more. Now it's, it's become a task for me to how to impress them furthermore, what to do next that they get hooked on. And that is a very interesting, you know, space to be in. Because it's challenging. It's not easy to impress the audience every time. And when you're able to do that, it's a very satisfying thing. So I'm telling you that you need to be a data analysis, data scientist along with, <laughs> wow. uh, you know, to be able to kind of understand what was going on and how to replicate it and how to keep them engaged. Engagement is, it's, it's difficult because when you get something that's worked, you get so many messages. Hmm. It is impossible for you to respond to that. Uh, it's in hundreds of thousands. So you cannot be responding to it. But you kind of get a glance that, okay, people are loving it. Okay, people are. So you kind of understand the numbers are telling you and, and then you're trying to replicate it. And to replicate it, again, it's not going to be easy. So it's, it's fun. I love it. So you have definitely found space in hearts of many, many of your fans. So you have definitely cracked that data science and uh, you are listening to feedbacks. And yeah. I, I definitely see your uh, social media feeds, which are full of so much inspiration Thank you. because you keep, you try on improving even your channel. Like you said, you yeah. are uh, breaking certain norms and creating different sort of music. So it's really heads off to you for that. Thank you. So, for you, what's more rewarding? Uh, it's rewards or awards? It's always rewards because uh, that's a constant thing. See, awards, um, they matter. It's not that they don't matter. Uh, but that will happen. That is not something that you have any control over. Rewards is a daily thing, right? So, for us, for me, there is, there is now a regimented routine that is followed on the channel. And uh, I've kind of understood that this is how you need to run each and every channel. So discipline, I'm a firm believer of discipline and I lead my life with a lot of discipline. So that same discipline, if it is followed on in every respect, it is a rewarding experience. So uh, to give you an example, every day at 6 p.m. there is a post that happens. Whatever may be happening, there is a post that will happen at 6 p.m. And we will try and manage it in such a way that it's not, uh, uh, the same instrument is not repeated. The same similar style of music is not repeated. If I'm wearing a hat on one, I will not be wearing a hat in the other. If I am wearing a particular kind of combination of clothes, I will not be doing that in the same. I will, it will not be back to back. If there is a festival coming, we will try to engage audience for that festival like we did for Raki recently. 
or uh, you know uh, uh, independence day so i am trying to uh, i feel like it's almost like a living organism <laughs> the channel that it is trying to read what you might want to consume and that in itself is a a task so our team my team comprises of uh two three people and they are relentlessly working hard to identify what would work to download to create tracks to for me to record for us to shoot for us to make sure that the color correction is correct the the uh, captions are correct so there is a lot of work that goes behind uh, you know maintaining the channel and to grow it it's not an easy task at all i'm sure it's not and kudos to you and the team for doing such a fabulous job thank you. that we are genuinely enjoying all your posts so we must thank you for that thank you so looking ahead who is your dream collaboration and what kind of music do you envision to create together collaborations are always something that uh, excite me a lot so i want to collaborate with as many musicians and uh, you know singers and performers as possible it's not only insta related it's uh, live performances collaborations new songs any and everything uh, i personally am able to lend my hand over to a lot of different things like if there is a singer i can play the sax along with it if there is a uh, if it's something devotional probably i can do a flute along with it so i can shift my instruments to fit in a collaboration very easily so it's not necessary that i have to sing every time mm-hmm. and i would again welcome any and everybody to come and collaborate with me because that is how music grows you know um, you might like an xyz more and a particular field and you might like but what happens when both of us come together what can we get onto the table which is going to blow your mind out so to create those opportunities it's really fun but any name in particular that you would love to collaborate with um i love uh, zakir bhai so zakir bhai and i i would love to do something with him rehman sir and i have already done a lot of shows together but we would love to i mean you know i learn so much from him salim does amazing work salim suleman i would love to collaborate with them shreya sunidhi i've already done all of these but they are these are all such amazing musicians that for me to be in the same uh, room with them in the same area and working on music is a very rewarding experience overall and uh, and you learn a lot so you have worked like you said you have worked with a lot of people but when it comes to a particular say a legend or a particular artist an uh, artist that you had a fan moment with i love rehman sir yeah. i am a huge fan and uh, i love being in his company his aura is amazing you know the vibrations that you get around him it's just amazing you just feel whenever i have gone and performed with him and i've come back i feel elated i feel like i'm floating on on the you know i'm not putting my feet down on the ground it's that good an experience he is generally genuinely one of the best uh, musicians ever to hit this planet wow. so you know so to be in his company and to learn from him what my and he just doesn't talk i talk a lot he doesn't talk at all okay. so uh, when you're conversing with him just a few few things that he would be doing and just to examine him or to analyze what he is thinking or doing it is an amazing feeling so now raghav i'm going to ask you certain questions these are rapid fire questions and you will have to be very quick in answering I'll try. them yeah so an underrated musician underrated musician uh, i would say i am underrated i feel and i think uh, there is much more that's going to come out um yeah according to you an overrated singer these are difficult questions you're asking me and they're politically and <laughs> putting me in a situation uh overrated singer i can't comment <laughs> can't so you comment. want to be politically correct absolutely i've <laughs> got to be <laughs> a singer who uses auto tune the most almost everybody does today uh it varies between sometimes you might want to use auto tune on a voice to create an effect it is not required probably but it creates an effect remix or Oh, an original any day an original but a remix done well is also brilliant raghav a better singer or better music producer 
I would say a better music producer. And how about ranking the following singers? Arijit Singh, Sonu Nigam, Shan, uh, Adnan Sami. I would say Arijit for sure. Arijit has immense amount of talent and uh, he effortlessly performs. Whenever he's performing, there is you don't feel uh, there's any effort. And the same goes for Sonu. Sonu also is effortless. He can really do stuff uh, and I've worked with both of them so I can vouch for it. Adnan also is a great singer, Shan also both of them but I would rank Arijit and uh, Sonu as above the rest. So your ideal idea of a date night is musical evening or a candlelight dinner? Mm, musical evening, actually with my wife it would rather be a candlelight dinner, I would prefer that. Because musical evenings are any which was happening yes, I'm sure. <laughs> all the time. So, yeah. An actor who is also a singer. So, Salman Khan, Ayushman Khurana, Farhan Akhtar, Ali Zafar, Alia Bhatt. Can you rank them? Ali Zafar. Okay. For sure. Ali is a great singer. Fabulous actor also. Ayushman is also a very good singer. And uh, I would... If there is one person who you did not keep in this and that is the all-rounder who I would have loved to meet and perform with is Kishore Kumar. Hmm. He is the man who came out with multi-talents. He is the man who came out with, uh, you know, trying to showcase more than one facet and brilliance at it. So imagine yodeling, which would never existed before him. Hmm. Uh, singing, amazing, of course, what a singer, what an actor. Then he's directed as well, he's produced as well. So if there is one person who I really look up to from a multi, because I do all of these things as well. So he is the pioneer of it. So Raghav, thank you so much for being honest with your answers mm -hmm. in the rapid fire. And even during the conversation, it was lovely talking to you. My pleasure. Thank you so much for being a sport thank and you. joining me today on Bato Bato Me with Sapna Vyas. Thank you so much, Raghav. Thank you, Sapna. Pleasure. I hope you loved this episode as much as I did talking to Raghav. He is a musical dynamo and an amazing person. And I really want to thank him for being a sport and joining me on today's episode. Till that time we meet again, I'll see you on Bato Bato Me with Sapna Vyas. See you.